vision. Hey everyone, Dave here, and I recently got around to seeing Big Hero 6, the new movie from Walt Disney Feature Animation based on the Marvel comic that I had never heard of before I found out the movie was being made. But total unfamiliarity with the source material didn't stop me from digging Guardians of the Galaxy, so I was looking forward to this flick. And in the end, it was okay. Let's start with the bad first. Almost every plot point in this film is almost excruciatingly predictable. There was rarely a moment where I didn't know exactly what was going to happen next. Without spoiling anything, uh, early on a character shows up in the film and I correctly predicted that they were going to turn out to be the villain behind everything. Not because of anything the character said or did, but just because... I've seen movies. The supporting cast may be pretty diverse, but most of them are really underdeveloped, reduced to their broadest one-dimensional strokes. And there are more than a few moments in the film that invite comparison to the Iron Giant, and this film doesn't even come close to standing up to that masterpiece. All that said, I still enjoyed the film a lot. The plot points may have been predictable, but the emotional story beats were ones I didn't always expect. It's a well-known Disney cliche that there's always a dead relative, but usually it's just a minor plot device. We may see the character's reaction for a bit, but most Disney movies aren't really about the grieving process. But this movie is actually about dealing with a terrible loss, how hard it is to deal with that loss, and how it can lead people to do bad things. It's a film about moving on from tragedy wrapped up in the guise of a revenge flick. The film is really held together by two major relationships in Hero's life. The groundwork is laid at the beginning with the relationship between Hero and his brother, and then most of the film is held together by the relationship between Hero and Baymax and their chemistry together. Now, as I said, it may not be the greatest animated story about the affection between a boy and his robot. Arguably, it might not even come in second. But it's still a wonderful relationship to watch, and it provides a center for the movie. Baymax's naivete versus hero cynicism is the stuff that great comedy duos are made of. And of course, over the course of the film, Hero learns from the big marshmallow. Modern improv legend Scott adds its performance as Baymax is calm, collected, and compassionate, which is quite the departure for the many, many audience members who primarily know him as Pete Hornberger. And while the supporting cast is, once again, severely underdeveloped, there's still a really fun chemistry between these wildly diverse attitudes. I just wish they had more time to explore each and every one of these characters. And I could actually see this movie spinning off into a Disney XD series or something. I'd watch it. Notably, T.J. Miller plays basically the exact opposite of his other Disney animated voice role. And, as an occasional listener to Doug Love's movies, I appreciated that he managed to fit in a SCIENCE! YEAH! And, of course, there's a rather entertaining post credit scene. You're gonna want to stick around for it. And no, it's not an eye-patched Frozone inviting them to the Incredibles initiative. All in all, while I didn't find it as solid or as groundbreaking as Disney's past three animated features, I thought it was a fun and enjoyable flick. I can't speak to how fans of the pre-existing Big Hero 6 franchise will react, but I think fans of Disney's more action-y and less princess-y animated fare will enjoy the film. So if you've seen it, what did you think of Big Hero 6? Did you find it better than I did? Did you find it worse than I did? Did you disagree with certain things but not with other things? This is what the comments are about. Leave your nuanced critiques of the film because you really want to spend your time typing that in down there. I know that's what you want to do. Keep the discussion going. This is what the internet should be all about. And until next time, this is Dave signing off.